Hello, it's Sarah. And this is my Create banner that I made. And I did this over a couple days. So I don't really have a place to display it at the moment. I have to move a few things, so I just laid it on my counter. And I'm gonna show you what I did, because it's awfully cute. I can't wait to watch this so I can see if it's showing up. Um, I used chipboard for to make the pennants themselves. I'm gonna try and zoom in a little bit. And I actually cut the chipboard from these books that you get at Michael's, these chipboard uh, mini albums. I used to get these all the time and like stocked up on them because it was before I had chipboard or anything and um, I didn't know where to get it. So I just got this and I would cut this if I needed it. Um, so I just did that, I cut from the middle of the scallop up to the end and that made my pennants. They're about five by seven. Um, I use this paper stack. It's a K and Company, um, Barbara Walton, and it's called Madeline, I believe. It says BW Madeline, and I love this paper stack. I've made, I've had several of them. They still have it at AC Moore. It's an eight by eight stack, um, eight and a half by eight and a half, but I love it. Um, so I use that, and that's the first thing I did was I just covered the chipboard with um, paper various papers. I kind of went green, pink, green, pink, green, pink. So that was kind of my theme. Um, so this, these are um, those laser cut wooden letters from Michaels. I just happened to be in there and saw them. So I got this size and then I got smaller ones and I got chipboard letters too. So I'm going to be playing with pennants for a while. I'm going to try some stuff, but um, I just kind of did the same thing to all of them as far as the lace went. I used um, this uh, dollar lace from AC Moore. This is uh, has little flowers on it. It's real cheap. It's a dollar, the dollar, and but I, that was the one that I had the most of. So I went around and I actually went around the backs. I attached it to the back of each pennant with hot glue, and I did that first, and then. Well, first I inked everything too, but then I used this, which was uh, lovely lace, and this is a dollar, and I don't remember where I got this. Um, one of the stores, one of the local uh, craft stores, because I mean, that's where I usually get everything, and that's this trim, and what I did with that was, on every other one, I turned it different. So on every other one, the pink ones, I made the flat edge face in and had the other end face out. And on the green ones, I had the flat edge face out and the ruffled edge face in. So anyway, that's really all I did. And you can do so much more to these. You can put, I had um, pearls I was gonna do, but I just was like, I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna go down a little bit more. I think I can probably. Do one more level down. Okay, good. So this is my C, and I painted those with the Tim Holtz. Um, this is Spun Sugar Distress Paint. So I just painted them real quick with the dauber. I went around and painted all the letters first, and then I did ink the edges with uh, lipstick, faded lipstick or something like that. Lipstick, worn lipstick, and vintage photo. And I also crackled the letters with this just because I had it and I haven't used it in forever and it was a little thick. So I actually put it on with a brush and I didn't get too many crackles, but um, it gave it a shiny appearance. So that was, that was good enough for me. And I ended up rubbing um, other stuff on there at the end anyway, but I tried to use a lot of those little wooden um, shapes that I have that I've had forever. And so this one has a little uh, nest and a bird. And then I just put different flowers from my stash and some bling, that was really it. And I kind of kept them all with the same supply. So that's my C, here's the R. And I just used, um, these were the painted um, butterflies, the metal butterflies that I had painted the other day when I was doing some shabby chic stuff. Um, and then I just put some more flowers and little wooden, wooden veneer pieces around and um, did the same thing. I edged things with either vintage photo or um, worn lipstick. So hopefully you can see that. That's the R. 
Then this E was really cool. I liked how this turned out. I had these little houses that I had painted too and wanted to use them so I just put one on each end of the bottom of the E and put a little few pearls in between. I don't know, I just think it turned out cute and I put this angel above like it's kind of above the houses and put some more flowers on top of the E and some more flowers down here and then this A I had pulled the original image out of these frames and this one I painted first and it came out the best so that was just a little one of the um, images from um, Sweet Sentiments from the Graphic 45 Sweet Sentiments and then these are just flowers from my stash that I just added there and uh, some flowers here put some pearl bling up here a little these this is just from um, the like they're in those little bags of flowers I love them they're like four dollars though or something but um, so I put that there and a little bling flower there and then this one I had to put one of my bottle caps he was just sitting out there looking so cute with the angel so I just plunked him right down in the middle of the tea and put a few flowers above because I popped up the letters so some of them you can really see if you look at an angle you can see like the um, the pop dots underneath so I wanted to cover that um, on the top there and then I just put a little bow on the bottom of that for the T and then the last E um, I just put again these wooden veneer um, parts I wanted to use them up so I put the dragonfly there and then this was another um, this is from a button pack and it was gold and I painted it white um, and some more flowers from my stash. I put some more bling up here and a few pearls, a bow, and um, a flower down here, and another like butterfly that I painted, and I put a pearl in the middle of that. So it was fun. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And I controlled myself when it came to the embellishments. I really tried to um, just keep it simple. You did I you don't have to add every everything you have. Oh, and then I connected them all. I didn't put eyelets in. I just um, popped a hole on each side with my crocodile and thread the ribbon. It's just a green satin ribbon um, behind the pennant and through, behind and through, behind and through. Um, and I was thinking I could tie a knot here um, to hold it, but it's pretty snug. Like this size ribbon really worked well to hold the, um, they don't really seem to slide too much. So um, I hopefully will have this hanging in my craft space shortly, but I really just wanted to share it. I'm really, really happy with it. And I don't think they're hard, you guys. I think everyone should make a pennant for me for my pennant challenge. Um, I have a few, um, definitely a few people are making them for me, but I need more, I need more pennants. So uh, join in and thanks, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.